welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing this very curly but completely natural hair tutorial with you guys. All you need is a robe, some hair ties and a delicious natural hair oil and you are good to go. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'm gonna get into this video because I know you guys wanna know how I did this. I washed my hair and I've combed it through, but I let it dry about 50, 60% before I combed it so that it didn't rip. And then once it was combed through, I just sprayed water on it again, just to make it damp. So I'm just gonna comb through this again because my hair is trying to go back to its natural curls. And what I do before I start is put a leave-in conditioner on. So I'm using Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It's Jamaican black castor oil. Their stuff's really good. I've used their shampoo and conditioner. It smells amazing. I don't take a lot, I take about that much just rub it in between my hands and then just lightly take it through my hair and obviously concentrate on the ends then i'll give it another comb through so that conditioner is evenly distributed another product i've been using recently is Dr. Paw Paw It Does It All 7-in-1 Hair Treatment Styler. So it has heat protection, reduces split ends, it's a detangler, leave-in hair treatment, reduces frizz and smooths, blow dry styling, aid and adds shine. I'll just spray that. Concentrating on the ends. And then, this smells lovely too. I swear when things are natural, you don't get that horrible fake smell that gives you a headache. That's just how I feel about it. Okay, so I'm gonna now comb my hair into its parting. <laughs> I look like Morticia Adams. <laughs> okay, so next you will need a your robe belt, that's it. And you're gonna place it in the middle of your head. And then I just grip it just so that it doesn't move. I look a bit crazy, but this is how it, this is how it goes. <laughs> okay, take section by section the whole way down, a bit like a French plait, but wrapping it round the robe. So you're bringing all the hair forward and then you're wrapping it. And the smaller the pieces are, the tighter the curl will be. I'll show you one and then I'm gonna speed it up. Do both sides so that you're not watching me do the same thing over and over again. picking up a little bit extra from the back every time I go around, just as you would do with a French plait. And then, once you've got all of it, you just continue to wrap it round, like so. I like to leave a good amount at the end, so that the curls don't go the whole way down. Then you grab a tie and tie it securely, like so. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Pulling it, 
it's tight. Otherwise it will just get very loose and you won't get the curls. And then I'll twist them away from my face and kind of do a little bun on the side of my head like this. You look crazy, but it's worth it. <laughs> and it's natural, so you're not damaging your hair. Same on this side. Take the grip out at this point, and you would leave this to dry. It's like I've got earmuffs on. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, people, I am ready for the day. I've got myself ready and I've left these in. They have not come out. I slept with them. I put my makeup on with them. And now I'm going to take them out with you guys. I have to say, I thought it was going to be really uncomfortable sleeping with these. Although I can hardly hear. Like, I have to lift them if someone's talking to me. Um... <laughs> But sleeping in them, so I was forced to sleep on my back, obviously. I'm a side sleeper and I had one of the best night's sleep. So I need to be doing this more often, obviously, for my hair health and my back health. Anyway, I'm going to undo these with you now to show you and also get ready for the day because I have things to do. Okay, so we'll start with this one. <laughs> Look at that. That's one side undone. I'm going to quickly undo the other. Normally I would do this a lot quicker, but for you guys, I had to do it properly and obviously have light to film. But you could leave this in for like three, four hours. Just make sure your hair is nearly dry when you're when you're doing it. It's not soaking. Okay. <laughs> this is what it looks like before I start to brush it out. I just lightly start to brush at the end and run my fingers through the top and mid section. So it's super volumized as you can see when you first take it out, um, but it will start to drop. And then what I do is run an oil through the hair to take the frizz down and give it a bit more style although i love this look like i would rock this this is like hair goals if my hair naturally did this it would make me so happy i've been using this ultimate oil from shez and although it looks like a perfume that you can spray it's not so that bit that you press down brings the oil up into the pipette warm it up in the palms of my hand it smells amazing and then start to run it through Tommy is still here, by the way. Always hanging out when I'm doing my videos. I feel like he wants his own channel or something. Who knows? Don't be scared using the oil. Oh, Tommy's on the move. Tommy. Tommy. You have to make an appearance, don't you? Go on, go outside, it's a nice day. Um, so don't be too scared using, oh, I have hair, his hair in my eye. Don't be scared using the oil because it really tames the curls and softens them so you can get really involved. I could get the curls a little bit more flatter, but I quite like it quite volumized. For me, 
this is how I would have it. And obviously it would drop a little bit throughout the day, but not really. When you curl with tongs, I find that they drop by the next day, but these curls will just stay. Um, they'll get a bit looser, but you'll still have a lot of volume to your hair, even when it starts to get a bit dirty. So. And we are done. Guys, look at the volume. Not one bit of heat has been used. Just the robe. It's insane. I am not gonna be putting any more heat to my hair until we come out of this lockdown because I wanna get it nice and healthy at the ends and I wanna get it long. So guys, if you want to get your hair nice and healthy and you do use heat a lot, then take advantage of being in lockdown where you have a bit more time and do these heatless hairstyles. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's hair tutorial. Any questions you guys have, Drop them below and I will get back to you. Also come say hi on Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I am there daily. Any of you that do do this tutorial, send me over your pictures in my DMs on Instagram because I would absolutely love to see how your hair comes out and just to get your feedback really. So make sure you do. And please remember to subscribe to my channel, guys. It means the world. Hit that bell. That way you won't miss any future videos that I share. And until next week, guys, stay heatless. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>